So, uh, welcome back everybody, welcome back to the Malfa Project, and uh, today we're gonna be working on some uh, lovely leaves, and uh, we're gonna try to make the tree work well with it. So, um, that's what we're gonna be going for. Um, it's all that, or we're gonna build up the tree first, but eh, I don't know for sure, but anyway, um, we're gonna find out, and uh, I hope you're all gonna be enjoying this, because I will. <clears throat> so um, yeah, uh, yesterday, um, uh, yesterday Stan actually came to uh, ask me if he wanted to, you know, uh, some kind of tiny little internship for one day. So I said yes to that. And uh, um, oh, how do I remove that spot now? Uh, well, we're gonna look at. We're gonna look for it. All right. So it's not there. So where is it then? Is it in, oh, it's in that one. All right. So yeah, um, he asked me that, and uh, I said yes to it. And uh, it, at I believe uh, in December, in December the uh, the the seventh or yeah, well, at least one day in December, in the early December. So I believe seven or something like that. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be. Um, I'm gonna be teaching him all the know-hows, and then uh, I'm gonna do a little a live stream with him together, and then fi uh, see if he uh, uh, is able to do it himself. So I'm uh, gonna be curious about that. Um, so uh, right now I want to have that. So we need to figure out like where do we, how do we do this? Well, we have the tree, so we want this to be below the tree right here. So we're gonna put it. Come on, yes, there you go. We wanna put this there, and we want this to be in a new group because this is gonna be the next part of the tree. So the idea is that we're gonna be looking for like, how do we want to do this, and how do we get from point A to point B, and that is most likely the main issue that we're gonna face. So. How do we do this? Well, we want to at least give the effect of a tree, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a sketching right here. As you can see, I have been toying around with a lot of things. Um, I'm gonna be sketching with the, pen, uh, with the Pencil 2 tool, and we're gonna be lowering this size to 3.6. So what I want is actually, you know, Alrighty, this bit right here done. This bit right there needs to be done. So I want this to be like so. And then I want this to be there, yeah. So if we're gonna go for the effect that we want, we would definitely add that in there. So we have this and um, the tree is uh, the tree effect of it, so the whole tree effect that's gonna be here is gonna be um, on top. Uh, it needs to be on top or below it, and that's the main issue. Like, do I want to get a tree on top of it or do I want to paste this underneath it? Which is a little bit of a issue because, well, you know, we have this uh, drawing and uh, we need. We need clean out things like that. So what I'm going to be doing is probably putting this below it. So or underneath this. So then I need to be taking care right here. So if this is going to be below this, then this needs to be very accurately done once, you know, the drawing is done of this tree part. So, because this is going to be below it, I should not have an issue then uh, drawing right here, because we're going to be drawing over it. So that's how we're going to do it. We just need to make sure that this connection right here is correctly done, but uh, we can do that later on. So we're going to draw the grass thing till the very end because well you know we still have it and we don't need to worry about that now now um, since that we have this tree part 
and the street part is going to be extending to this right here all these bits are going to be anyway on top of it so we're going to give this little effect to it and we want right over there we want it to be so we just want to see like where do we want this and how do we want this to be happening so I think I want this to be like in such a way there you go so this is gonna be the tree shape and now we're gonna add the parts that we need so we want to have like a little bit of a lower down view of this you want a round effect on it like so and we want this effect to be representing into the drawing itself so we should definitely put that there and then you know on top of it this is going to be probably changing the bits a bit so right here this needs to be a bit of a change right there and right there so this is the thing and then this should definitely go away because we want to add some stuff to it we're just drawing the basic lines so not yet the draw uh, not yet the drawing lines where you know we're going to be adding stuff and putting stuff there but just the lines so that we can then add the uh, next part of it so now that we did now that we uh, now that we're done with the basic lines of it even though you know this might be you know a little bit more upwards or downwards it doesn't really matter too much this part but this is the tree part that we want this is all, these are the leaves we want for this part of the drawing and uh, we're gonna add then the tree on top of it but we, of course we want to be it go, becoming natural so therefore yeah, it's gonna be a little bit different um yeah I'm very excited I'm very excited so um, I'm hoping that you know once this tree pit is done uh, we can see a result and that result would then be far better than that we are now at because you know we're now at the part where we need to do uh, the next tree and then you know we're gonna follow up with the next one and then with the next one and then with the next one and then follow it up until the end, very end so it's not you know it it's something special because once these trees are done oh man I will be done because then you know that if these trees are done I'm almost finished I just need to do some little t tiny little things that will fix the rest of the drawing and then we can draw the effects into it and do some lovely little stuff of experimenting and then it's all gonna be looking nicely I mean really it's just you know doing the drawings and as you can see I do again the sharp little shark bites and those shark bites represent then the leaves and then once we add a second layer towards the uh, once we add a second layer of leaves to it it will make sense and looks nice and will look nice not it looks nice it will look nice it will be it just takes time now you can see that we're going upwards so we don't want that to be non-existing so we're just gonna be adding the parts that we need of course you know it, it doesn't matter really where where, where th this part of the drawing doesn't matter that much on the detail but still we want to keep on with our regular thing of you know knowing what to do and where to do it and you can see like ah well w what is going on here then yeah because we are changing um, we're, cha we're changing from uh, shape so what is going on here is like this and then go again with this and then go again with this and slowly you know making it into uh, feeling like it is uh, round yeah there you go round because we want these trees to be a little bit more blossoming we want them to look like you know these big giant branches that you know contain lots of leaves that you can just pull off 
like a floss. There you go. Um, I know that this might look, you know, a little bit difficult, or well, well, it it might look not difficult, but you might think that this is a little bit difficult to understand. That you know, I'm trying to do my very best upon giving the right information all the time, but it sometimes doesn't work. And uh, today I actually went on with my drawing that I'm working on for February. And uh, I'm getting close with that one as well. Um, the whole uh, drawing actually worked out pretty well now. Um, I only need one more stone to do and then I can finally start with drawing the cool little things like, you know, the bad guys, the good guys and all the secondary characters in the background. And all that stuff, the all the all the the mat, all the madness that's gonna be put in that drawing, because that's what I'm, what I'm gonna be trying to do. I'm gonna try to create this kind of effect that uh, creates the like. It's like a um, back in time kind of feeling, you know. You're 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 going through. You're you you just broke something very very precious, and it ruins the whole time continuum. And it creates these wacky effects or wacky adventures that, you know, the main character comes to goes through. And that is the idea of it. So yeah. Yep. The whole the whole idea of this uh drawing in the first place this drawing at least, is that, you know, we're drawing a mall fog and we need to put it into an environment. And I thought like, well, what is not a better environment than just a forest? And then you come to the realization that you also need to draw the forest. <laughs> and that's where the hard things come in, you know, you, you're you finally done with the mall fog. Oh, that's such a big giant drawing. And then, and then you're like, uh, but now I need to draw also the whole uh, environment with it that's uh that's a thing yes that's a thing indeed it's it's quite funny to see like you know uh me underestimating myself like oh man that's a lot of things that still need to be done because you know i'm not yet really great at realizing some things like when things are big or when things are small or when things are <coughs> quite good as you can hear, my voice is still not fully fully recovered from um, uh, from uh, from being the flu, beating the flu. But oh well, it's much better than before. It's like mm, on a scale to ten, from ten to eight, uh, from ten to one, I I give it an eight. I'll give it an eight. I'll give it an eight anyway, because you know it's a lovely voice. <laughs> so yeah. Um, just working on the drawing, making things that think, making sure that all the things look good, perfected, you know, no little misbehaving in a drawing. And we're doing quite fine now. The main idea here is that we're just, you know, drawing the leaves. And these leaves are not as big as the other ones, I believe. No, 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 no. They're they're actually as tiny, but they're no, nah, they're more, they're more, they're more clustered. It gives a little bit of variety in the drawing itself. And these ones, you know, I can still say that they are the drawing that we need. But once we're going to the, once we're gonna go to this, this one is like you know, yeah, this one's still decent, decent on uh, the drawing distance and all that stuff. But once we're going to this one or that one. We uh, we're gonna kind of uh, need to uh, make it a little bit more harder to see them, and I actually want this to be there as well because I have my own reasons. We're gonna add a second line to this drawing. You won't see it. Well, at least you know you won't see it just yet, but. Why I'm doing this is actually because of the way of how the shape is going. So we want we want this shape to be a little bit blossomed in or big. Let's say the least. So we want this to be like this kind of shape. So 
mushroom shape. And we cannot do that once we're uh, doing all of this lovely stuff. Now we can add the drawing part right in. Nope. Alright, lovely. So now we can get this one then up and running. Lovely. Quite good to see that I'm actually doing my very best here. And knowing well how it is all behaving. I can just add more and more and more leaves to it. Of course, you know, this takes some time. Uh, well, it takes a lot of time, but I have time, right? And once this part is done, you know, we're, we're then Mm, let's see if this one is done then probably this one is still the biggest one after that and this one right here and then we still have this one and that one so this will probably be done in one two three four five six seven days of work and then we're almost at uh, top notch peak and you know all of the draw and there is no need to rush because well you know it's it's a drawing and uh, this drawing does need rushing luckily but I'll I'll be damned if this thing is done by February I'll, I'll I will be very happy if this thing is done by February but I don't think so I think this thing will be done by February, January, May, maybe, yeah, maybe. That's a good distance. And then, you know, we have worked two years on this, or well, one year, but I am not complaining about it. You know, only one day, a, one day a week is, uh, is not a lot. Or well, one day a day, so, or well, one hour a day is not a lot, so therefore, you know, the whole drawing uh, kind of uh, if you compare it to anything else like working on a working on a movie for instance there are a lot of people working on it and a lot of things doing on it and in this drawing you know I'm just I'm alone so there is nobody you know that can do it therefore you know you're the only one person that can produce and um, it is very sometimes very difficult to realize like oh well um if i want to do this a normal team would do this in one week you however are gonna probably do it in two or four weeks depending on the situation and i don't mind really i don't mind working longer well working longer on something that you know is passionate and i'm very happy you know that I already worked like three hours today on on my other drawing on the back in the background and uh, well you know that thing is getting along real quickly you know three three hours is like not a lot of course every day three hours working on something it's not a lot but it is enough to keep yourself motivated keep yourself you know engaged into it without making any too drastic uh, changes into the rhythm of what you're doing like my rhythm is draw in the early morning then get uh, then go out for a walk 
then come back, do some more drawing, and then, you know, do the drawing of this thing. Doing the drawing of the Morphog. So, it might not look a it might not look like a lot, but it is a lot. Hmm. Did I do something wrong here? Yes, I did. Uh, these ones are so not. These ones are so not. Oh wait. Oh wait. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I almost forgot. <laughs> I almost forgot. Ooh, do do. Don't mind me being a total doofus. I almost forgot that these things are very important. That they are keeping the way of how they are. Because this is actually a bit that needs to be fixed. All right. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hmm. I can do this actually in a way in a way more easier way than I actually could uh, anticipate it. I'm gonna do this on a second layer. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna draw first the base uh, base part of it. Then I will draw the tree part, and then I will draw a second part of the of the leaves and put it on top of it. Therefore, it should not intervene with all of this. Hmm, that's actually a smart idea. I just need to realize. I just need to make sure that I don't overdo the drawing then afterwards. But uh, I can put something here. I can put something there. I can put this right there. And. We're gonna go upwards soon, so this is upwards, this is upwards, then this is upwards, and then this is upwards, right there. Of course, these things might not look like the same as, you know, the other ones, but it doesn't matter because we need variety in the drawing itself. Otherwise, things might look a little bit odd. And we cannot have odd things. Well, we cannot have. We can have odd things, but we cannot have. Uh, we cannot have like st stagnated uh, texture. That is very bad because it turns the eye away from it. It's like, oh, this is all the same, and then you know, the eye is bored. Because UI always wants to be, you know, entertained. It's like giving yourself a pat on the back every single time you do a push-up. And then eventually, you know, the push-up is no longer worth it. So you need to do something else to pat, to give yourself a satisfaction. So then you give yourself an ice cream, for instance. Something like that. It's, it, it's a little bit of a mental thing that needs to be, you know, done. Because if you would look at the same thing all over and over again, nothing is going to change. It's just, you know, very boring once once you already see it. If you have seen it all, you know, you have seen nothing. Exactly that one. I was looking for the reference that uh, I was looking for. I don't have a library book with me, but otherwise I would have said so. Uh, it's... Uh, it's hard sometimes to pronounce the right words and the right pronunciations for the references. Blech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, we're doing quite well now. We're now almost halfway to the drawing. We're almost upwards. Of course, you know, the drawing itself is a bit of a hassle because of how the tree works. And how the tree leaves go. And what I could do 
it's also an option, is move this upwards. So, like, we can move this, but upwards, so that it doesn't, so that it doesn't mean anything. But I don't think, I don't believe that's a smart idea. I believe this is a smart idea, and then just put it right here, and have the part that done there. But the, uh, it's all, it's all, it's all good old-fashioned. Figure out what what suits and what doesn't suit. It's a little bit strange, you know, drawing over the drawing and then realizing that you know the uh, initial idea is a little bit bad compared to the new one. Um, why am I drawing in this? Oh boy, I drew with the wrong color. Don't mind me. Don't mind me just uh, getting rid of that. There you go. Oh. Alright. See, we made a mistake here. I'm gonna carefully erase that. There you go. Otherwise, we might have a little problem. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Just doing my job. Just drawing the lines up and running. And let's see how much time we already have spent on this. Half an hour. Decent. 20, 20 point. 27 kind of minutes spent on just drawing the baselines of what we need to do. Mm, you know, the tab base texture is quite decent. And I'm not complaining. So, uh, it's good that, you know, we're, we're working already on halfway there. Of course, you know, this is totally different than just, you know, drawing, uh, this kind of appear this kind of drawing is totally different than I'm normally doing anyway when I have fun or want to do uh, something else because this is actually my original art style this is like the art style that I normally took it's like what you did today well I drew and then you know the next day what did you did today I drew and then it's like are you finished yet no <laughs> It's like a very detailed art style that is sometimes a little bit of a hassle to deal with because how much needs to be done. But, but, it does turn out always great. Regardless of what you do. Like if you did a sketch or if you did a drawing. The art style still keeps is still the same. It still feels the same. It still feels like you know, it's all handly crafted, handly drawn, handly crafted, and that that does have something. It gives some feel of accomplishment in um, once you once you watch. It's like oh my, that is lovely. Even though you know there are some mistakes in it. Yes, because you know not everybody is perfect, and everybody makes mistakes. Like for instance, I'm learning how to draw. You know, I'm still learning how to draw humans. That's a uh, that's a thing. You know, it's it's not my strong suit. It's definitely not my strong suit. It's one of my weak suits, actually. I can draw certain things. I can draw, I can draw a bunny. I did it once. Probably can do it again. Uh, I can draw lizards. I can draw dragons. I can draw worms. I can draw trees. I can draw draw rocks. I can draw churches. Apparently, I can do that. But when you ask me to draw a human, it looks like an ape. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's something that sometimes is a bit like, well then, uh, how do you gonna be getting towards the point that you are able to draw a human? And then that's the point where I'm like, well, with lots of expertise and learning that is, and I'm learning. Don't get me wrong, I'm still learning. Like for instance, I'm now designing a T-shirt. I'm now designing another T-shirt for uh, for a convention I'm going to, and uh, you know, I want to have all the wacky characters on one T-shirt, and I'm gonna do it like 
how I imagine it would be. Just a big giant minecart exploding the rock that is the calendar, the stone calendar, into multiple pieces and then just, you know, driving off into the sunset, into absolutely don't know where. And that would fix it. You know, that that is like the idea. Of course, you know, the idea might sound a little bit stupid or absurd, but it's nothing to worry about too much. Same as, you know, once I'm draw done with this drawing, I will probably work on my animation on making a good intro. Um, the intro right now is just, you know, the drawing of the bow project. With some ominous music like, ooh, spookiness. But, uh, yeah, what I want to do is actually just make an animation out of what I normal uh, the animation of the bomb that I'm actually always using. I might not be the fastest on, you know, updating my profile picture when it is Christmas, when it is Halloween. Uh, but, you know, it's all because, well, I am busy. I cannot do everything at the same time. I have work to do. Well, when I say work, I mean, you know, just working on the drawings because, you know, they need to be finished before anything else because they have priority. And it's very important that, you know, you keep your priorities straight because my priority is, you know, producing these uh, these little uh, one hour streams every day that's that's my main priority at all cost that, that's what I always want to do every day every 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 single day I want to produce them except on uh, except on Sunday and Saturday because then you know I would like to play video games because well you need to keep them you need to keep a healthy mind and uh, yeah Sometimes, you know, they don't, uh, sometimes I can't do the things and then, you know, I, I figure out like, ah, shoot, I should have just definitely informed you guys, but, oh well, you know, things happen. I'm not the best at things like this because, you know, it's just all me, it's just me, and only me. And I'm working on every single thing that I need to do because sometimes, you know, you need to do it yourself. When you don't get things done properly, you need to do it yourself. Like you know, making animation. You, when you when when you don't when you don't like something or when you try to do something and people said like, well, animation seemed difficult, and then they never tried, and they are, they just forget about it. And I'm like, well, I never did an animation. Probably it will look horrible. And then, you know, I made the animation, the tiny little animation, and uh, boom. Turned out decent. Ish. So, uh, I guess I can do it. So I will. And that's, uh, that's how, that's how my mind works. It's like, you know, even if, even if you're, even if the odds are stacked against you, you can still, you know, come on top. You just need to relax, just take a step back. And see the bigger picture where everything comes and goes. Because if you see the bigger picture, then you know where where you need to aim for. You need to know you know where things go and things come and go, and that's nice. Uh, mo most most things that I do right now is like you know I'm working on the Marfa project. Oh my God, it's such a big project. Yes, yes it is. But with the right steps, with the right baby steps, anybody can do it. You just need time and effort. You just need, you know, concentration on what you need to do and focus on where you're good at. Otherwise, you know, things will fall behind. Otherwise, things will go look very bad. It's it's very common knowledge that, you know, if you rush something, it turns out very bad later on. So, if you would rush this Marvel project, it might look it would look like, you know, somebody drew it out of a children's book instead of, you know, you drawing it with your uh, with your passion. Even though that your passion might look a little bit different than my passion and my drawing style might look a little bit more different than yours, it's still, you know, a drawing. It's your drawing. You made it. Congratulations. It's all amazing. That you did it. You took time and effort on making something, and uh, you know, the people that you showed to should be proud of it. Of course, you know, there might be a little bit things and tanks that might, you know, not look great or need to be improved, but you know, everybody can improve. It's, uh, it's not very 
it's not very easy to do it, but time and effort. It takes time to learn something. It takes time and experience to learn something. Like, for instance, the boss, uh, the boss, um, uh, the boss, when uh, two weeks, three, we three weeks ago, told me to, you know, order some things and put some stuff together because, you know, they needed somebody to do that for them because, well, you know, they were busy on a schedule and they had to do fixed stuff and I was like, well, it's not like I can do anything here on the PC because, you know, I'm already done. Or, well, not done, but, you know, already done doing the stuff that needs to be done. And so I helped. I helped out and I never worked at, I never worked with my hands. I am a very bad person when it comes to working with my hands. It's uh, it's none of my things like, I like to draw. Yes, of course, you use your hands there, but like working on with ranches and putting things together and having oil on your hands, you know, all the grease. Yeah, that's that's things that I never did. It's a, it's a thing that I normally don't do because, well, you know, I try to avoid such things. But of course, at the workplace, you can't avoid that. <laughs> that's that's stupid. Why would you not help the why would you not help your 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 fellow people that work with you? To create a product and then you still you need to you need to work with them because otherwise you know you'd never you never get to know them because well one day they might ask you about something and you can ask like oh well uh how is charlie today and then you know charlie uh, and then the person that knows charlie says like oh he's sick he has some uh he's uh he had some he he's he has the flu and then you know everybody's like oh man charlie is sick today oh damn it that guy is always such a good worker, and then you know, you get that kind of conversations. You have the general conversation that normally you know you don't get if you don't. Um, nah, this is gonna be going away. I don't like it. And it's it's a it's a thing that I still need to learn, you know, about how a company works because well, I know how a company works, but I don't know. I don't have the expertise on how to work with people. Because I am not a people person. Absolutely not. I can't from the life of me. I get very nervous when I talk to people. It's it's like insane. Woo! So, what did I do? Well, I did something very easy. I I just I just did my work. And then, you know, the boss came around like, Hey, how is it going? And then I'm like, It's all good, boss! And then, you know, he saw me, everything being ordered, like, instantly, like, how is this all ordered? How much time did you spend on it? Did you not take a break or something? And I'm like, break. Ah, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> so yeah, even if I, if even if I do something like with my hands or something that is, you know, below what I normally supposed to do, I can, I can still find a motivation to just do it because, well, it's important to keep the motivation up because otherwise, you know. The work you're doing really, really gets grindy, and you don't want that. You don't want to be frustrated with the things that you do in work. You always need to find, you know, the little things like, why did you do it? Well, I did it because of this, or X. And it's all important that you know you do it with passion and love, because it will be shown. Even in the most basic kind of things. Even in the most basic kind of things. And there goes my ear. Lovely. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, one of my uh, my ear just uh, got remo uh, just had a lovely uh, noise removal again. Which means that one of the uh, high pitches is now gone. It's natural. You know, it's a natural way of uh, life. Which means that, you know, I won't be hearing that high pitch anymore. Oh well. Too bad. <laughs> It's the first time I actually <laughs> got it on stream. Only I'm always like, when you're sleeping, then this happens. You hear light, low pitch, and then it's gone. But uh, no. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, we should definitely uh, fill it up fully. We should definitely fill this up fully. Yes, lovely. All right. Now we've done that. Now we're gonna. Now we're just gonna get a casual brown, just a casual brown. We, it's just for me for reference how I want to do this. All right. 
just how they want to do this. So I have this brown right here. I want this brown to be underneath this, right? Or I can be above it. Above this doesn't make any sense. It's it's it not makes any sense why I would do that. So if I remove this one, hold on. If I remove this one right here, if I remove this part right here, and then put this part like so, that would make more sense. So if I do it like this, that would make sense. That's that's uh that's a decent sense that I could do. So does this make a good tree? Um yes it does, actually. It does, but this tree needs to be a little more tinier. So it needs to be like this. Yes, amazing. And then right here needs to be more green. Yes. Alright, 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 alright. So if we add now like this tree right here, then we have like an idea of what, how this tree is going to go. And then this one right here needs to have like the, and then, the, oh, all right. Yeah, that would work. That actually would work. Now it's a question like, do I want then this to be bigger? No, because I actually want this tree to be seen. Or not. Hmm. Just one sec. Gonna be switched to green. This is a little bit of an experiment on seeing what and how. Um, so if I want to go add this to right over here. So what we have now is this. Alright, we have now this. We do now have this. And now the question is like, do I want this to be like fully? Like, do I want this to be like fully there? And then have this to be there. And then have right over here one more. And right over here one more that is going to be implemented right there. And then one right here, one right there. And you can see what is going on right now. This one needs to be then on top of it again. All right. So now we do have an idea what we're going to go for. Now the question is, do I want this? Do I want this instead? Do I want this instead? Um, hold on. Do I want this instead? Hmm. Do I want this instead, or do I want it the other way around? Do I want, or do I want this instead? Do I want this? Do I want to add this like this, and then that, and then remove this part right here? So, don't do this. Don't do this part. I put the tree right there. So put the tree parts until the right part where where it needs to be. Whew. Very difficult choice. But it doesn't really matter here. It doesn't really matter because I can actually do like, you know, the tree right here, put this right there, and then, you know, I have this right there. All right. I think this would actually work quite well still. All right, so we're gonna be removing that. So first things first, we want to have a color on this bad boy because holy hell, Otherwise, we're not going to be doing anything else. So, first things first, we need a color. Well, we're going to go for the same color as normal. We're going to go for normal green. Green, green, yes. Normal green. We're going to do it like the easy way out, which is just adding the things. So this is the basic color green, and then once we're done with the rest, uh, we don't want that one. We want the hot eraser. All right. Now 
And the idea here is that we're going to go... Um, Oh, we should definitely zoom in here. So the idea is that we're going to make this one and then we're going to make separate ones and then those separate ones form the full uh, voltage. No, how do you say that? The full leaf part. Yes, the leaf part. I, I guess that's that's the easy word for it. But yeah, it will cover all the tree, but Right now it looks silly because there's only one and then, you know, once we're done with the rest, it looks far better. We should switch to this one, uh, not that one, the other one, uh, this one, yes. We should switch to that one so that we can fill up the parts that we still lost. There you go. So what I'm doing here is actually editing the parts in that I need to do. And what we're going to do is actually move the color, uh, the color part here. We're moving it backwards. So we're going to put this on top of it. Even though that, you know, it might, might look a little bit odd, but meh. It will look decent enough. All right. Now, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. The main idea here is that we're just removing that button. Yep, yep. And we're almost close to our goal that we wanted to do. We wanted to draw the leaf or the tree, or part of the tree. And we did actually do draw the leaves. So we already did that. We did not do the coloring in, but because, well, you know, Covering takes a long time. Well, it doesn't take a long, long time. It just takes the time to get all the erase points a little bit fixed. And of course, I need to make sure that I uh, look into whether or not I want to do the light uh, the drawing uh, fully done. So I need to make sure that everything is working fine. Uh, 48 minutes in. Um, yes, 48 minutes. That's not enough for me to do things properly, but I'll, I'll, I'll try to get it goodly done. No, I need to do this. I need to do this tomorrow. Yep. Otherwise, I won't be. Uh, otherwise, I will make mistakes big time. All right. Um. Now I can see. Like, uh, do I want more? Yes, I actually want a little bit more here. I want actually a little bit more here. Can I do that? Probably. Uh, anyway, um, I think that's enough for today. Um, I hope I'll, I hope you all have enjoyed for today. And thanks all for watching. And I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I wish you a lovely day. And uh, bye! <laughs>